All right. So Heather and I were just talking about how it can be easy to get overwhelmed when you come into a program. I mean, whether it's this program or another program where it's like, there's so much to do and I have to do it all exactly as it's been laid out. Um, or like, for example, if you go study marketing or something, you go, oh my God, I have to do a ping spoon I, I, or lead magnet. I get to set up a funnel, da, da, da. And I was just talking before we started recording with someone else who, after after hearing about where she's at with her strategy and things, I'm like, forget the lead magnet. You don't need to be thinking about that right now, right? It's like, it's like not everything that's taught to you is the right fit for you, number one. And number two, not everything you should be doing in the exact steps that's been taught to you. I think we each need more, we each, each need to allow more sovereignty within ourselves to say, you know what, that resonates with me right now. That seems right based on my life experience that yes, that I need to do more of that. And that one I'm going to set aside. Maybe it'll be right for me in three months, three years, whatever, but I'll set that aside. And, da, 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 da. Um, and so, yeah. And then of course, overwhelm means that to me, overwhelm means that we're, we're, we're giving ourselves the expectation to do way too much. And some of which, like I said, much of which is probably irrelevant actually to us at this time. So then to stem the overwhelm means, let me just pick one thing or two things from whatever I'm seeing in front of me that resonates with me. If it doesn't resonate, let me move on to the next thing. But if it does resonate, let me pick that one thing. Like, like what I want to do, because you would be more productive doing one thing actually right? than being overwhelmed by 12 things. Mm -hmm. So um, Heather, I want to give you a chance if you want to add anything to this. Yeah, I think one of the things I'd like to add is whenever we're looking at a list of suggestions, one of the things I elect to do is I will take all of the suggestions and I'll sit with them for a couple of weeks or a month or whatever. And I'll have them in my to-do list as yes. part of something I review. Yeah. And if I recognize that I haven't done anything with one of them, or if one is kind of, well, what the heck did this even mean? I haven't found a purpose for it yet. I just let it naturally fall away and keep the ones that I've either added details to or have felt alignment with even. Yeah, yeah. I find that helpful. I love that. Yeah, exactly. So please feel free. You you have my permission, our permission, your permission to allow things to be be not something you implement right now and just pick the one, two things that resonate with you. Even if it doesn't seem like it's in the right order, if it resonates with you, I think it's, it's a good sign. Your internal system is saying, Hey, let's do something about this. And so I welcome you to do that.